Let's take Hawaii's economic temperature and see how the recent wildfires on Maui, on top of the COVID pandemic, are likely to affect the state's economy going forward. Everyone knows that Maui, an important part of Hawaii's hospitality industry and economy, has been devastated by the recent wildfires. Recovery is underway, but it isn't moving very quickly and there's a long way to go. These wildfires, on top of the COVID pandemic, have dealt a huge blow to Maui's economy. Paying the costs of recovery will have a profound and long-term effect on the state's economy. Now let's break this down. Hospitality is the lifeblood of Hawaii's economy. It is a major contributor to the state's GDP and provides employment to many thousands of local residents. Maui is a premier tourist destination and relies heavily on this sector. The wildfires have resulted not only in a tragic loss of life and property, but have also resulted in substantial damage to business and infrastructure, and have damaged Maui's special allure as a tourist destination. Of course, the health and social impacts of COVID had already strained and disrupted the hospitality industry and so many ancillary businesses around the state. Reduced tourist arrivals coupled with health concerns have seen visitor numbers decline. This, in turn, has adversely affected everything from hotels and restaurants to retail of all kinds. But what if our current troubles aren't the end of our economic challenges? Imagine even more extreme weather events or a further decline in tourism for reasons beyond our control. In that case, the economic implications could be even more severe. We could be looking at a spiral down where fewer tourists lead to fewer businesses, higher rates of unemployment and lower tax collections. These trends are likely to enhance outmigration and Hawaii's risk of becoming a backwater. This situation calls for an all-hands-on-deck collaboration and a fierce determination to rebuild Maui and its economy as soon as possible, and to avoid being drawn into political blame games, litigation, and uncaring bureaucracy. We do need to diversify our industries, promote sustainable tourism and resilience in infrastructure, and to otherwise counteract factors and forces that threaten our economy. We need to invest lots of time and energy in this and get local and offshore investors to invest lots of money in rebuilding the damage Maui has suffered. We need to get back on track to deal with other crises that may come later. While these challenges are daunting, the spirit and work ethic of our people can pave the way to a faster recovery and a more optimistic future. But only if we can get together and work together to rebuild what we've lost and right away. It's about taking urgent and constructive action and staying focused on that. It means doing whatever we have to do to head off the coming deterioration of our state's economy. Let's keep this collaboration going and work around the clock to rebuild. And in the process, let's make sure that our state is more economically resilient than it was before. Aloha.